Hi, this is Dr. Dan. So I'm going to walk through uh, this Excel practice quiz to kind of show you how I would solve it. And that way you can th see how I think about these things and maybe you'll learn something about how you think about solving problems. So this is the first Excel practice quiz. We're trying to estimate how much money we can save for retirement. So that's a great exercise for Excel. So let's go ahead and jump in and take the quiz. Okay, so I'm going to graduate with a BS and BME degree, 22 years old, and I'm starting working. Um, okay, so we're only dealing with full years, start a job doing first. That makes it easy so we don't have to worry about half years and stuff like that. Uh, starting salary $60,000 a year um, and plan to get a 3.1% raise every year. And I'm going to work till I'm 65 if I'm lucky. Okay, and so we want to go ahead and it says put the raise percentage in its own cell so you can reference it. Um, so let's go ahead and start up our Excel spreadsheet. And we're just going to start by looking at this section. So I know, okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to go ahead and put all this uh, information in here, starting salary. And you can make it dollar format if you want, just by hitting that dollar sign. Okay, and so there's our kind of, initial assumptions. So I'm going to have a column now. I know I'm going to do age from my starting age at 22 all the way to 65. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that manually. Um, age 22. So I'm going to reference that plus one. I'll just drag this down here until I get to 65. which should, should be somewhere. Oops, that's 65 years. I only want to 65. All right. Uh, so that's we basically set up that first paragraph. We have a starting seller, we have our raise, and we have our age set up. So I'm gonna go back to the quiz. Okay, your last year of work is when you're 64. You'll retire and stop working right before you turn 65. So use, how, use Excel to show how much money you make every year from age 22 to age 64. Okay, and the question is, how much money will you make when you're 64? Okay. So you may or may not know how to do that. So I gave the hint. To calculate how your salary grows, just multiply your previous salary by one plus your raise. Okay, so if starting salary is 50, you get a 2% raise. Your salary in year two would be 51. Year three would be 52.02. Okay, so that first year, I know I'm going to make the starting salary. So I'm just going to make it equal to that starting salary. I know it's a constant, so I'm going to go ahead and put dollar signs there. Okay, and so I'm going to make $60,000 the first year obvious. The second year now I'm going to get my raise. So it's going to be 60,000 times, just like I said in the prompt, one plus your raise amount. Okay. And of course the raise amount is uh, a constant. So I'll put dollar signs in front of that. I want to format it that to look like money too. Okay. So the second year I'll make 61,860. And now I can just copy those all the way down make it bigger if the dollars the pound signs is not big enough and so it's, it's telling me my salary for every year all the way up until i'm 65. and so the question said we just want to know the salary at age 64 so i'm going to go ahead and stop it there okay uh so i believe that's the the correct answer to this is going to be 216 279 42. But you know what just in case i'm going to check because I have a hint there. It says if your starting salary is fifty thousand and you get a two percent raise every year, I want to make sure these values are right, and so that I did the math right. So I'm going to go ahead and change starting salary to fifty thousand. Just do a two percent raise every year, and so I see in year two it's fifty one, in year three it's fifty two oh twenty. So let's go ahead and make sure that's right. Okay, fifty one, fifty two oh twenty. Okay, so that's good. So I'm pretty confident I have the equations right. So I'm going to go back with my original values. And so I feel like this should be the answer. So I'm going to copy and paste it into the answer. Ah, it doesn't like the dollar sign. Probably doesn't like the, the comma either. Okay, next question. Okay, now it says you decide you want to save 10% of your gross income for retirement by investing in the stock market. And you're estimating a return of 8% every year on your savings. Okay, so I'm going to start just putting those numbers into my Excel spreadsheet. Savings rate is going to be 10%. Return rate 
it's going to be eight percent use Excel to simulate how much money you saved each year and how your money grows the percent you save from your paycheck should be a constant sell so that's what I did okay and so that's what I did I made those things constant sells okay so you probably want a column that calculates how much you save each year a column that calculates the interest for the year and a column that keeps track of your accumulated cash hoard okay so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna say this column is salary okay save each year interest accumulated okay so just just how I described in the problem in the prompt okay and so saved each year you go back okay interest will only be earned on money that has been saved for a full year so you'll earn zero interest the first year okay and so during the second year earn zero eight percent on all the money you say okay so saved each year so I'm gonna say this is gonna be my salary times the um, savings rate which is 10 percent okay that 10 percent is gonna be a constant so I'm gonna save six thousand dollars that first year and more as we go on okay and so what I said is the interest the first year is gonna be zero because we're not we don't have anything saved but this accumulated is now just gonna be the amount I saved plus the amount of interest I earned okay so we have the first year that makes sense right we saved six thousand we didn't earn any interest we have six thousand after one year okay my second year now I'm gonna how much I saved I know I have that so now the interest I want to know how much interest I'm making on my savings so this is how much I have in the savings account so I'm gonna make some interest on it okay and so it's just gonna be that amount I have in savings times the rate of return which is a constant e2 so I calculate that okay and so now the accumulated is how much I had from last year plus how much I saved this year plus how much interest I earned this year and that gives me okay now I have that much money in my savings account and frankly that should be all we have to do copy this bad boy down and we have how much we ha make after our 64th year or are 64 years old okay so let's go this example now we want to make sure we did it right so if your salary is constant constant 50,000 a year and you save 10% of it okay so let's go ahead and do that so we're saying salary is 50,000 a year no raise it's constant we're saving 10% I can check at the year one you will have five thousand dollars in savings okay that's exactly what I have in year two you will save ten percent again so yield two you have five thousand during year two plus eight percent interest from year one four hundred equals ten thousand four hundred so that's how much I should have at year two so I go back that's exactly what I have I have my five thousand my five thousand four hundred so I got ten four hundred so I feel pretty good about this let's look on year three okay and I expect same sort of things I expect to see 16 to 32 in year three and that's what I got so I feel pretty confident about this calculation is what I need to do okay use this entire working life and it says how old will you be when you become a millionaire okay so let's go back to our normal what we expect and I'm just looking for when I become a millionaire and that will be at age 52 okay using a cell model how much money will you have when you retire accumulate an amount at the end of when you're 64 years old to the nearest dollar so paste that in there take out all these commas and stuff and so it's to the nearest dollar so I'll go ahead and put round up okay so I'm, I'm pretty good I feel pretty good about these answers um, but question four now instead of getting a job after your BS degree you decide to pursue a PhD in BME 
you graduate after five years, and again, we'll assume you turn 27, graduate, start working. Okay, so same situation, it's just I'm older now. Uh, starting salary is higher, and you get a raise that is 1% higher. Okay, does that make sense? Like your PhD, you're more advanced, so you should start with a higher salary, and you have higher potential earnings. Okay, so in another tab, or in another place on your spreadsheet, how much you make every year from age 27 to 64, how much money we make the last year before we retire. Okay, so I basically want to do the same exact thing again, everything I just did, except with different uh, starting conditions. Okay, and so I could just copy all this over, but I'm, it's just, I think it's easier just to copy the whole sheet. So I'm gonna say move or copy, I'm gonna say create a copy at the end. Again, I can even right click to rename these. Like that. Okay, and right now they look the exact same, but I'm gonna go ahead and change up. So starting salary for PhD was 80,000. And I can just, this is gonna be 4.1% now. Okay, and so the other thing I have to change is my age. I said I'm gonna start at age 27 and only go to age 64, so I can delete some of these. Okay, what's the question asked? So I think I have the spreadsheet basically set up how they want. The question says, how much money will you make the last year before you retire? Okay, so I think it's that. I'm gonna copy that. Paste it, again, get rid of all the stuff that, oops. I said round to the nearest dollar. Okay, following same parameters, saving 10%, 8% annual growth. Okay, how much? so it's the same thing. It's, it's the final number. How much am I going to have at the end? And so it's gonna be 22,800,000 something. Again, I'll just round up to the nearest dollar. Okay, and then that's actually the end of the quiz. Save and submit. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this thing. Yeah, I'll just save it to my documents file. Quiz. Okay, and I can upload. Practice Excel quiz. Okay, and now I'm ready. So the one thing I do want to point out is now, if I, uh, I wanted to make adjustment and fix it, if I hit X on this, and it's gonna say, okay, remove that, choose a file, I can't actually upload the same file again. It gets mad at me. So you have to go in and rename your file. It's really silly, but that's what Canvas does. So I'll just append a one at the end. Oh, it's mad because it's open. Close that. Okay, I rename it. Now I can up, upload that. And so it's successfully uploaded. So I'm gonna make sure I answered all the questions again. Okay, it looks good. So the one thing I think you might find interesting is, you know, you go the BS route with our with our assumptions anyway, you end up with 2.89 million after you retire. You go to PhD route, you end up with 2.87-ish million. So it's essentially the same. Uh, so basically, as far as savings for retirement, um, those five years you lose to get in a PhD hurt a little bit. So I'm gonna submit the quiz check my answers, and I got everything right. Uh, I got 25 out of 30 because the last points, my instructor has to grade and make sure that I actually calculate everything right. Okay, and so that is how you would solve this first Excel quiz.